but uh oh dude a lot of, a lot of my builds like as soon as i get done here i have two two podcasts today back to back so i have you two podcasts and then i'll race over uh to my boy glenn harris's and bert who, who have been doing the build on my trx we'll put on the i think all we have left to do is put on the rear bumper and then the trx will be it should be completely ready to go by friday um so yeah but i take care of all that in between my my podcasting and then Ooh. drop in and pick my kids up from school amazing I, such a hard worker i did all of that my podcasting pick up my, like dude you don't get imagine 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 making your kids picking up your kids like a what's that thing called not not taskifying it what is it um imagine trying to make your kids part of like your your way of like killing the day. I'm only in the day because I took my kids to school. Bro, that's just what a regular parent does. That's not like a, an achievement. Gamify, that's the one. It's like a good um, NJ Ranger. Gamify. Imagine trying to gamify, pick, take your, your school run. <laughs> Imagine trying to gamify the school run. Imagine trying to gamify being a dad. <laughs> I'm the bestest dad. I I took I got I got them to I got them to school and back in like 13 minutes. It's my record so far. 13 minutes flat. Like what? That they have baseball. Both of them are in baseball. So, you know, usually I have podcast Monday through Wednesday. I usually have let's see two, four, five to six shows Monday through Wednesday. Then Thursday, Friday, if I'm not on the road, it's all dedicated those those hours to getting some truck stuff done. That's sure, sure. all my kids are in school. But once they get done with school, I'm screwed. Yeah, exactly. Young old vibes. No uh no bus for the chombies, but have you noticed one thing? Young old vibes and everybody else. Have you noticed one thing? Have you noticed one thing? The wife doesn't post any more pictures of the fucking latte in front of the fucking steering wheel. Remember we used to get all those pictures of like the coffee or like some sort of shop where she was I don't know, Air One salad or something in front of the fucking Lambo steering wheel. We don't get those pictures anymore. I wonder why. I know why the Lambo got sold, mate. Papa sold the Lambo because the money, you know, the money's not moneying. You know, that Lambo truck got sold. The Urus had to go, so to make make money. You know, the Urus went. So now we don't get no more coffee cups in front of the steering wheel. Right, right. I get that. I got a I got a nine month old now, so it's tough trying to trying to make that time because I don't want to miss her growing up either. You know, that's that's oh, important. Oh, to me. Dude, it's the most important. Like I, I pulled yeah. back on it's my the comedy most important. because no way. Is this man going to try and say he's not doing comedy because he wants to be a dad? As if, like, there's no comedians active, professional, current, very busy, always touring comedians now who don't have kids. He's acting like you can't do comedy if you have kids. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be fucking good. Let's go. Between what I'm doing with the cars, the podcast, game bread, commentating. Uh... He's done game bread commentating once. He podcast what? twice a week for like four hours a day come on bro you can't do stand-up in between you're doing it before now you all of a sudden you can't do it racing something happened. racing you did one race you finished dead last give or second to last my my son's you know he's gifted at baseball he's on a travel team mm -hmm. and he might be a fucking la dodger dude his schedule is his son gifted or is he just playing baseball a lot because if he was gifted wouldn't he be on a professional team by now Again, I don't know nothing about sports. Or oh, sorry, about, you know, kids trying to pursue a professional career. But surely if he's a kid and he's really good enough to play baseball, wouldn't he be in a professional team already? He wouldn't just be playing for some, you know, whatever team he's playing for. I don't know. Calabasas fucking high. You know what I mean? Like, does this make any sense to you? I mean, they're practicing four days a week. Um, then he has games Saturday, Sunday. I can't, I can't miss games. You know, I just right. can't miss, miss it anymore. So right. something had to give. So... Yeah. You know, it's a balance. I'm figuring yeah, it out. But sure. It's I don't get why he lies. I don't get what the point is in lying. You could easily say the truth and still talk about your kids. You could easily say, hey, um, you know, I didn't like being away from my family or from my kids for too long and having to perform in front of 10 people. It just didn't make it. It didn't seem like it was worth my time to go fly these places and just perform in front of 10 people. So I'd rather just spend time with my kids. And if I could do some local sets, and get my sets and reps in in local clubs, I'll do it, but I'm not really chasing for it either. Like, or just say, like, it was more fun to do stand-up when my friends were here. That would be a good excuse, right? 
it was fun to do stand up when Rogan was here, when Bert was here, when Tom Segura was here, blah blah blah, and the crew was here. It was at like the comedy rap pack, comedy rap pack. That's a better excuse than attempting to say that you don't do stand up because you're a good dad. But then, if I'm not mistaken, didn't somebody on the T5K subreddit um, put together? a list of places that this guy's been to. I think ever since that video dropped of him saying where well, he's crying in the hospital about his baby, about his baby girl, somebody put together a clip and it said something like, um, Brendan hasn't been home ever since that weekend. I think they, it was four weekends or six weekends in a row. He hadn't been at home. So this whole thing about, oh, I'm, I'm here for my kids. Da, 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 he has, he tried, he's tried everything to get away from his family. So it's like, it's obvious you don't, you know, again, it's not a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing not to be a fucking beast of a dad, contrary to popular, you know, belief out there. Every dad is probably different. Every person's different how they communicate with it, how they, you know, conduct the relationship with their kids and shit. It's your business, none of mine. But let's not lie. We see what you're doing. You're always, whatever excuse you can find not to be with your kids, you find it. You're on this guy's podcast that is not even probably going to get a thousand views or something. Clearly, you could be spending that time with your kids, but you're not. You're spending this time with your, with this guy. Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't know why he does this. Like, but I wonder if this is like a weird, like, again, I'm going on a bit of a tangent here, but I wonder if this is like Brendan's way of coping with the fact that maybe his dad didn't like bring him up well. Is that possible? Because his dad maybe wasn't a quote unquote beast of a dad. Is he trying to like convince himself he's a beast of a dad, even though he might be inadvertently doing the same thing his dad did to him? Because his dad's super successful, had loads of businesses. Maybe his dad wasn't at home a lot, right? Um, and obviously he's, he, I think his parents got divorced when he was young too so maybe he's trying to convince himself that he's not he's not he's not a shit dad like his dad was and that's why he's so hell bent on talking about yeah I'm with my kids my kids are like shut up man like why lie 